Hello candidates, uh, welcome to another science session and this time we shall be looking at uh, pulleys. So a pulley is a freely rotating wheel with a grooved rim. A pulley is a freely rotating wheel with a grooved rim. So here we have some of the parts of a pulley described. One of them we have a rope. This rope passes over the groove dream. We shall be seeing the illustration. Then the groove. This groove that is put into the rim helps to prevent the rope from sliding. And then we have the frame uh, to which the pulley is fixed and this one is called the block. So if we take a good look here, we have some of these parts illustrated. So uh, this is the block that we are talking about and then we have the pivot here, the turning point. Uh, we have the rim here. This is the rim. It is like the wheel itself. Then in this rim they dig or they put a groove. It is like a hole that moves around. So it is in this groove, this space you're seeing, that the rope will pass. So this groove will help prevent the rope from sliding to the other side or this side. And then uh, finally this is the rotating wheel. So these pulleys are divided in two types and we have three types of them. As we can see here, we have the single fixed pulley. Uh, we also have the single movable pulley. Then we have the block and tackle system. So this one is a combined pulley system where you have the single fixed and then the single movable pulley. Or we can as well call it the multiple pulley system. So now after looking at all these types of pulleys, we, we come to look at how they are important in our daily life. So one, we have uh, that they are used in towing vehicles. They are used in towing vehicles. So these uh, break down cars or vehicles that help to tow vehicles that are stranded on the way use a pulley system. Then they are used in lifts or elevators. They are used to raise flags on poles. Or we can say they are used to hoist flags on poles. This is a very important note because at times they can ask you uh, the importance of a pulley in a school. So this is one of the common things. We know that wherever we have schools, we always have flags there. So the, the pulleys are used to raise flags on the poles. Then uh, they are used in lifting heavy loads. Uh, when builders are putting loads or carrying sand and bricks and so on, building skyscrapers, in most cases they use the pulley system to carry that, th those loads and take them up during the construction. Then we can say they are used to draw soil from deep pits. Just in the previous session we looked at a uh, uh, wheel and axle where we had a windlass. So some of you, you may get surprised, some of these machines will appear in very many uh, groups. You'll find that it appears in the wheel and axle, then it comes back even here. So this is one of the, uh, of the uses. They are used to draw soil from deep pits. So when you try to contemplate or to reflect on the structure of a windlass and how it removes water from under the ground, so it is the same way that uh, the soil is removed from deep pits as they are digging deep holes. Then uh, they are used to draw water from underground wells. I think this one is uh, very clear. When we come this side, we can add and say they are used in scaffolds. Scaffolds are, are used while painting very tall buildings. So pulleys are used in scaffolds to paint tall buildings. And then what is very common to us, lastly, is that they are used 
in moving window curtains. So uh, this is how the pulley system is very important or is applied in our daily life. Now when we take a look at this, uh, they are used in moving window curtains. We can have maybe a, a small a small illustration of that. Looking at our window here, it also uses a pulley system. So when we are to move these curtains, we can pull. You can see we are pulling the rope and it is through the grooved room, rim that it is drawing this curtain. And if we want to move it back, we pull this other rope, this side. And then if we want to open partly, we can use this. And then if we want to close, uh, we can still move it like that. So this is one of uh, the, the things that we use commonly at home that use a pulley system. Uh, thank you very much for being part of this session. An activity on addition to the work that you have in the workbook will be attached. Please make sure you do the work and then you submit it for marking.